There's some good news and some bad news from the world of high energy physics. The good news is that the standard model, our current theory of the known elementary particles and three of the fundamental forces in nature, has stood up to a new test. The bad news is that the standard model has stood up to a new test, even though we know there are things in this universe that it simply doesn't explain. Until quite recently, there'd been what looked like signs of new physics from the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful particle accelerator. Researchers have been looking for cracks in the standard model because they like to move on to a wider theoretical framework that might offer an explanation for the mysteries of dark matter, dark energy, matter-antimatter asymmetry, and eventually include gravity alongside the other basic forces of nature. There'd been signs that the standard model might be about to fail. One of the major experiments that's attached to the Large Hadron Collider is called LHCb. Its main purpose is to investigate the slight differences between matter and antimatter by studying a type of particle called the beauty quark, or bottom quark. This research in turn might shed light on why, in the universe today, matter is dominant over antimatter. Back in 2014, scientists working with LHCb first reported a possible anomaly. To understand it, we have to know a bit of theory. Two of the fundamental particles of nature are electrons and muons. They both belong to the same family of particles known as leptons. The only obvious difference between them is that the muon is 200 times heavier than the electron. But as far as the standard model is concerned, the electron and the muon should behave the same. To be specific, the standard model predicts that the way they interact with other particles is identical. It's a result known as lepton universality. Measurements by the LHCb experiment in 2014 suggested a discrepancy in the production of muons and electrons. When collisions of protons produce massive particles called B mesons, these quickly decayed. The most frequent decay pattern produced another type of meson called a kaon, plus pairs of particles and their antiparticles, either an electron and a positron, or a muon and an antimuon. The standard model predicts that the two types of pairs should occur with the same frequency, but LHCb data suggested that the electron-positron pairs occurred more often. In subsequent years, the B meson anomaly had seemed to become more conspicuous, reaching a confidence level known as 3 sigma. Interesting, but below the 5 sigma level of significance needed to claim a discovery. A number of related measurements on B mesons also revealed deviations from predictions based on the standard model. Researchers began to speculate that the existence of previously unseen elementary particles might be affecting the B meson decays. But on December the 20th, 2022, the latest results from the LHCb were announced. These included more data than previous measurements of B meson decays and also a more thorough study of possible complicating factors. They suggest that electrons and muons are produced at the same rate after all. The apparent discrepancies in the earlier measurements involving kaons were in part due to the misidentification of some other particles as electrons. The new result will probably disappoint some theorists who'd spent time building models that might explain the anomalies, but that's the way science works. As more observations and measurements become available, you adapt and develop your theoretical ideas accordingly. Not all is lost in the search for science beyond the standard model. There are other anomalies still being examined, including in B meson decays that don't involve kaons, and a measurement that found the mass of a particle called the W boson to be greater than expected. 
If these turn out to be real, theoreticians will once again have some interesting explaining to do.